Yes, you read that right. Here's how you can make 10 videos in one hour. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Tsukori with Think Media. Now, what I'm gonna teach you is possible. I want you to know that, that you can actually implement these things, but it is gonna take work. This isn't the get rich quick or the get famous quick scheme, but this is the smart scheme. This is the smartest way that you can create content. But this whole idea rests on what we call the mothership strategy. Have you seen the Top Gun movie where they have the mothership and all the planes take off and they come and land on it and they even got boats going out and coming back in? That's kind of the illustration of what it is I'm gonna teach you. And so I hope you have something to take notes with because this is a powerful, powerful teaching. And if you can grasp it, I promise it's gonna do some wonders for your content. But let's get into step number one, which is to start a video podcast slash show. When you think about a show, a show has a consistent schedule. When you think about a show, a show has a consistent host, it has a consistent format, it has a consistent time it comes on. But shows show up. There's different ways to create content on YouTube. And as you see on the screen, we have four different content formats here. We have myself on the top left. This is what you would consider a vlogging format. We have Heather Torres from Think Media doing a talking head. But we have Nolan on the bottom right doing kind of like your wide YouTube talking headshot. And then we have Sean doing a live stream on the top right. These are what you would call content format. When, when it comes to creating content, that how you deliver the, for, the information you're delivering on video could be done in several different ways. No longer do you have to think of vlogging as random video. No, vlogging is just a way that you're creating content. In this case, I'm talking about video podcasting and if you're not aware of what a video podcast or a show is that I'm referring to, I'm, I'm, I'm referring to things like the Joe Rogan experience. This one is a very well-known, probably the top video podcast that you, I could think of and it's kind of crazy. I grew up watching Joe Rogan on Fear Factor and the fact that he's like taking over the game when it comes to podcasting and his influence, it's, it's pretty insane. Another really well-known uh, po video podcast slash show would be The Ramsey Show. This is uh, Dave Ramsey and his, his team where they teach financial literacy and financial freedom through their show. They sit down once and they create content and then that sitting is responsible for multiple videos and multiple uploads uh, that they use on YouTube as well as various social media platforms. We have the Ask Gary V Show. This is where Gary V sits down, he takes phone calls uh, just like Dave Ramsey, but you, you could see that there, there, there are these players that are actually doing the very thing that I'm kind of teaching you right now. And maybe you're like, you know, hey, Omar, that's, that's kind of, those are like the pro level people. They're like, there's no way I can do stuff at their level. Well, I would say an up and coming person that's doing this really well, this guy named Ruslan, he has about 200,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel. And he has essentially a live show, a little bit over an hour actually, he'll go live. But from that, he'll pull multiple pieces of content and then be able to multiple uploads because he planned it all up in advance. And we actually do this too, that we have the Think Media podcast. And if you're not subscribed to it, but if you wanna go deep on like really the best strategies to build like a, a business around a YouTube channel, I would encourage you to subscribe to our podcast wherever you consume it. But this is essentially what I mean by step number one is just to start a video podcast. So this was me and Heather sitting down talking about how to go full time on YouTube. Maybe you're having a hard time thinking about how you can fill up an hour's worth of content. Uh, here are some video podcast ideas. And when you're watching a show, like if you watch a, if you watch a late night show like Jimmy Fallon, they have different segments where they cover different things or maybe they play a game. The way they fill up that hour is very creative, but it's also entertaining because it's changing it up. And you can actually do it at whatever level you're in. And so the first thing would be covering current events or hot topics, things that are going on in your industry, in your niche, in regards to the world that you're trying to, you know, provide influence and information to, cover current events and hot topics. It's like literally just doing your research on what's going on currently could totally give you something to talk about. Another thing you can do is you can do some Q&A. You can actually, in advance, maybe on your Instagram, you go on your Instagram stories like, hey, I'm going, I'm doing, we're gonna do our show and we're gonna be answering some questions. Submit your questions and we'll answer them on our show. Maybe you actually do it live. Uh, you can also do interviews, 
bringing on guests and talking about uh, maybe subject matter experts in your field. Maybe it's people who have done something, a great story to tell. You can do React content where you actually, you know, bring on uh, videos or, or things going on in culture that make sense to your industry and just react to it. It's funny how like Mr. Beast, at the level he creates content, at, you know, with his main channel. He actually has a React channel. And the reason they do this is because it's such an easy way to create content because they're not having to come up with the content per se. They're just providing the commentary to the content. So just think of it that way. Maybe you don't think of it like live stream or reacts and all that funny stuff. It's more or less kind of, can you provide commentary on something going on on social media in your industry or what have you? You know, another one is overrated, underrated where you could take maybe things people think is important in your industry or niche, but actually bring some uh, value in regards to how you think about it. And then uh, you can also do testimonial where maybe you've been able to accomplish something in your business or niche and you sharing that is a form of a content idea. Here's how I made this much money and this much time in my first year of real estate. Here's how much this person was able to do that. You know, like when you when you can start thinking about sharing stories, it, it's great. People love stories. People connect with stories. But here are just some ideas. This isn't to limit you. This is just to give you a kind of like a an, a framework to be able to to plan it. As this next tip, planning is everything. Like when it comes to a video podcast or a show, the all the time is spent planning because once your that camera gets goes on it's showtime when it comes to your planning you're going to essentially plan in these segments you're going to plan in you're going to maybe know these questions that you're going to answer you're going to know these current events that you're going to cover step number two is to film or stream your show film or stream your show you want to make sure you stay on schedule when you when you actually hit record or when you when you go on a live stream and it's important to know that you are filming this show with the intention to do more with it after it is filmed so stay on schedule know what you're doing don't fall off the rails too much because then it's going to mess with the opportunity to be able to do more with this one sitting of creating content the next step step number three is to then take that recording or stream and create multiple videos from it. So based off of how you plan that one hour show will allow you to then take multiple videos from it and then upload it to YouTube. This is how you actually can create multiple videos in one sitting. It's just a very smart way to think about creating content. If I can just be honest, if I had to start all over, like if I'm starting from scratch zero, this is the strategy I would go with because it's the strategy that rewards my time the best. It's also the strategy that's easiest to create because more, more or less, I'm, I'm, I'm just reacting to content. I'm just, you know, I'm just commentating on something that's going on in my space or my industry. And so seeing what Ruslan was doing and seeing what the big dogs are doing, it's a very uh, achievable and possible format to create content with. And I think it's just very smart. So you're actually gonna create multiple videos from it and then you're gonna just repackage each video. Each video, you're going to upload to YouTube, you're gonna give it a fresh title and a fresh thumbnail for each video. And you'd be surprised that if, if you take on this strategy, this mothership strategy, this video podcast strategy, you'd be surprised that those clips that you actually take out because they're just a little more specific, they'll actually and potentially uh, perform much better than the full length one hour video that you're gonna upload. So you get one upload with the actual full hour episode for sure, and then you get the five to 10 based off of what comes out of that sitting. A lot of times we have found that it actually is possible to get more views on those shorter videos. And we actually are practitioners. We don't just teach this stuff, we do this stuff. And one example we did, our entire team sat down on a couch and for 45 minutes, we just went through the various things that are underrated or overrated when it comes to YouTube and content creation. That was just a 45 minute time of sitting down and we were able to create, I think around seven to, to nine or 10 videos from that. And it was just a cool way to, to fill in our schedule uh, of uploads with not doing too much work just simply taking out the segment from that conversation and then uploading it. And so something we, we definitely do, me and Nolan did this recently. We, we did a video podcast where we talked about the YouTube algorithm changing. And in that 30 minute conversation, we were able to pull three to five different 
uploads to go put on our main channel, but just a very smart way. We sat down once, the cameras only worked once, and then we were good to go. Step number four is to just repeat this consistently. I said this earlier, but shows show up consistently, like rain or shine. Like even when the host on the late night shows get sick, they have someone stand in and their commitment to showing up consistently is very key. Just because you do this once doesn't mean it's gonna work. And it's also not just the super easy way to success. I just think it's the smartest way to create content, right? So although it may not be easy, I know it'll be worth it because anyone would love to create more content in less sittings, right? No longer are the days where you just sit down once and you only make one video from that one sit down. That I, I think that'll actually burn you out, especially when you're balancing a full-time job or what have you. I, I wanna break down this quick bonus tip that I think will actually blow your mind in regards to getting way more views around your video podcast. But if you're getting value, be sure to hit that like button. The bonus tip is this, syndicate your show. As Gary V would say, squeeze the crap out of, and he would probably use a different word other than crap, but squeeze the crap out of this one hour show. And you could do this by literally putting this everywhere. And this is what is called syndicating is when you, you know, upload in one place essentially, and it does multiple, it has multiple avenues. So let me just break this down on a visual standpoint. You're going to sit down and shoot a video, a one hour video podcast show that you're going to plan and you're going to shoot content and you're also going to record the audio. Maybe the audio is being recorded to your camera. That's perfectly fine. You're going to then upload that full conversation on YouTube as the full length podcast. In this sense, this was a 24 minute conversation I had with Heather. The, the whole thing got uploaded to YouTube. You can then take moments in that podcast, like I mentioned, and upload those other clips. Let's just call them highlights. So we're gonna upload these micro clips, these sub clips or these highlights onto our YouTube channel, now getting us to maybe over five to eight videos on YouTube. We're gonna take the audio of that podcast, okay? And we're gonna upload it to Apple Podcasts and Spotify. You can, you can find a place where you upload one audio file and it goes everywhere people listen to podcasts. Again, it's a different medium. And you'd be surprised how much people are actually doing video podcasting nowadays and then uh, you know how much listeners they're getting. And so not much extra work when it comes to creating the content. It's just uploading that audio file to get it out there. And uh, this is a totally underrated hack when it comes to podcasting. You can upload you know, those segments you create too. So if you created sub segments or those highlight clips, upload that audio to your podcast and then you show up consistently on your podcast platforms and people would appreciate you for it. I think so, because maybe you don't want to consume the whole one hour thing, but I'll consume this 10 minute tip on how to get my first 1000 subscribers in a, in a month, right? But that was just a section from my sit down. Then we're going to take those clips and create vertical videos. And I want, this is what I did from this conversation with Heather. Like notice the amount of views I got on these clips in comparison to the YouTube video. I think the YouTube video got a little over 15 to 20,000 views, but just each clip got around, you know, 20 plus thousand views. This one's 16. So collectively, because we did this strategy and I did all the numbers, close to 100,000 views on a conversation that we did sat down once and then was able to actually create content in other spheres. And that is how you create up to 10 videos in one hour. I know it sounds more easier said than done, but it is possible for you to actually get it done as people are actually doing this and you see it from our examples as well.